Hi guys. <laughs> I'm so nervous to be on video. Please be nice in the comments. I don't like to be on videos. Um, but this just is like, I don't know, it just felt like the thing to do this time. So I'm Jenny and I'm an FJ, uh, INFJ. And I really wanted to try something new. Um, I really want to like help other INFJs and INFPs create things. We're all so creative, but we all kind of have the same struggles, it seems like, as far as just getting our stuff out there. Um, so I wanna help people do that. And this is the first step. Um, so I am self-employed. I have a social media agency that focuses on Pinterest, but I always have a ton of other projects going on. Um, I published a book about how to freelance on Upwork. I'm technically still a Google trusted photographer. I did that for a while. Um, but I've always been creative. Um, I, as a kid, I love to draw, I love to paint. And I ended up going to a special middle school just for people who, it was a magnet middle school. So you had like a focus in performing arts or I think there was math and science and there was visual arts. So I went for visual art and that kind of ruined art for me because it was just like so structured and you had these assignments, you had to draw specific things a specific way. And it just seemed like there was like a right and a wrong way to do it. And I just don't think art should work that way. And um, there were, like we do critiques and that just really killed art for me. I hated getting critiques on my art I hated it and I didn't do art for a really long time after that um, until like just this past year pretty much so this past year has been so intense and so raw and so hard and I'm not gonna go into the details but I think it's been hard for a lot of people and I think it's given us some time um, to really just stop and think about what we really want out of life. And I think a lot of us have neglected those creative sides of ourselves. Our, our culture is very like structured and success oriented. And I've learned that Creative energy is like a completely different thing. It's a completely different energy. Structure just stifles creativity. Um, and so I sent out a survey a few days ago just asking people like, what are your creative struggles? Like, I want, I want to focus on this. I want to solve this problem. So I got a few answers back. Thank you guys. And the main themes were staying motivated, so just like sitting down and making stuff. And then um, finding the time to just finish your project. So getting enough motivation to work on it, to finish it, finding the time to work on it and finish it. Um, and then having just too many projects, like not knowing what to work on, just like kind of overwhelming yourself because you have so many ideas. Uh, so that's what I want to focus on, but there's going to be another piece to it. Um, I really want to help people get into flow, a flow state. So that's when you're working on something and time just kind of slips away. And you just are so focused, like your inner critic is gone. And there's a few ways to do that. Um, and one way is taking risks emotional risks, emotional vulnerability, and having a community of people who are also working towards the same things. So that's really what I wanna do. I wanna have a community um, 
creativity, that, that whole energy is really tied to emotions. I mean, if you think about art, the good art, the best art just makes you feel things like good music, a good book. Like it's all about the emotion. Emotion is you need it. You need it to create good art. Um, so a lot of us have kind of learned that emotions are messy and we're supposed to numb emotions. So I think we're going to get vulnerable and we're going to talk about emotions in a group and we're going to share our work. So, but we're not going to have critiques, no critiques. So it's going to be like a support group where you can just share your work with the world, take that risk, but not worry about having the critiques that like make you second guess yourself. So, um, yeah, I'm planning to have something ready by the end of the month, uh, but I really want your feedback in the meantime while I'm building it. If you have questions, if there's other things you're struggling with, um, let me know. And I'd love to do have a co-working piece but I need to find a time where that works for the most people. So yeah, if there's like days or times that you'd want to do a co-working session, let me know that too. And uh, yeah, yeah, just email me anything. Um, there's going to be a link in the description. And yeah, just let me know what you think. Let me know what questions you have because I'm going to have a few more videos coming out to talk about, talk about it a little more. So Thanks, guys. See you.